Hello and welcome to another battle report. Today I have Ariadna versus a car company. Today's scenario is unmasking. Before I get started, um, I'm of course required by well me to ask you for a like. Now somewhere is the like button. I can make it appear by doing this. No. Okay, one more time. Damn it. Okay, so here's the scenario. It is unmasking. Just to go through what the scenario involves. So unmasking. Unmasking's main objectives is to kill your enemy's HVT. Each person has three HVTs. One is the designated target. Two of them are the decoys. You go to a console, of which there are three. You push the button and you pick a target and you'll find out whether it's a decoy or the real one. You get one point for killing a decoy, you get three points for killing the real one. Also, if you have more consoles activated at the end of the game, you get points for that as well. You get two points having more consoles than them, one point having the same number of consoles as them, and if your target isn't killed, you get two points as well. There are no classified objectives either, and if you have airborne deployment, you can't deploy in the middle of the board where the HVTs are. Okay, so here is my opponent's Ariadna Force. I have colour-coded both groups. We've got the first combat group, which is green. The second one is yellow. And hopefully, through the magic of production, there'll be a box here somewhere with the list in. So in his first group, he's got two Dynamo paramedics. He's got his LT, a Mormare with a HMG. He's got the other major with AP, Spit AP Spitfire. He's got... He's a Bermagrega. He's got two volunteers, chain rifles. Um, he's got a Polaris bear pod from Cosmoflot. And there, disguised as a Mormair, he's got a Cosmosold at, also from the new sector. In group two, he has a Libertos mine layer. He has two Iman Helios. He has a Metro with a Panzerfaust and camouflage one use. And he has got a Zenit 7 AP marksman rifle also with camouflage. And there we are, that's his army. And here is my force. I have color coded both combat groups. I've got the gray group and the yellow group here. In my first group, I've got a link team of three people here. I've got two Wumings, one with a light shotgun Panzerfaust, one with a HMG, and following them around is a broader engineer. Behind them, I've got Scarface, beta loadout with a AP heavy machine gun, and of course, Cordelia. I've got a second team here. I've got two Drews, one with hacking device pitcher, one with combo rifle, and from them is a clipper drone bot with a missile launcher. Hoping to maybe use the pitcher to spotlight a um, HVT and then lob missiles at them. Over here in my yellow group, I've got my lieutenants, a brawler with a rifle to hide the back. I've got here a Drews hacker with a kill hacking device. Okay, so now for deployment. First of all, mine. On this mm -hmm. side, I have my Harris Link team. I've got a Wooming HMG, a Brawler mm -hmm. Hacker, and I've got a Wooming with a Light Shotgun Panzerfaust. Mm -hmm. Here I've got a Warcore with a Visor. Here I've got oh, a, a Core Link of, well, three people. I've got um, two Drews. I've got a Drews Hacker and a Drews Combi Rifle, and here behind them is a Clipper Missile Launcher. All right. Here I've got a brawler with a um, rifle and a shotgun covering the back because I'm scared of Ayana coming from the sky. Here I've got uh, Ujimbo with a koala out. Here I've got Fagazi drone bot and here I've got Scarface, Beta, APHMG and here I've got Cordelia a bit further forward uh, facing um, towards that um, side of the board. Over here finally I've got a um, Crack at Renegade with a Fury, he rolled um, plus one arm, which is okay, and Bioimmunity, which is less good. Okay, Raymond, now for your deployment. Yeah, um, I got two groups. Uh, group one is in green, group two is in blue. Let's start off with the, the, the small one. The blue is all, actually all the camouflages. It's a, wa I, a wall of markers. <laughs> a wall, wall of, of markers. markers. <laughs> One up here, just 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 being an, an arrow piece, I guess. Uh, but they're also joined by uh, two Airman Dinos in that group. So one over here, one there, yeah. who has the plus one armor, and the other one 
who has the plus two armor. So quite well said. We're, you know, <laughs> we're not rolling spectacular for either meta chemistry or booty in this uh, in this uh, in this battle. Uh, group one uh, consists of the unknown ranger with AP Spitfire, uh, and then we have a Dynamo paramedic. Uh, we have the bear pod, um, who has the controller right over here. Uh, a Cosmo Soldat, special, special Operative with a, a T2 uh, rifle and a Panzerfaust. Um, a Volunteer in hiding over here. Uh, when we go to farther down the right, we already had the Imandino here. But we have a Mormar with uh, his HMG. And uh, in the bushes we have Isabel McGregor. Uh, so we have a Hacker on the field. Uh, another dynamo paramedic and uh, one volunteer hiding over here and my HVTs are Gogo Merli on my right side in the middle we have an O12 commissioner and here we have Veronin looking for his dog because he got missed in the, missing in the forest yeah poor Veronin there having a quick cigar hoping it's all yeah. fine it's not going to be yeah. fine yeah I've, I've got three um, candy cloud clones I've got one here I've got mm -hmm. one here, and I've got one um, over here. So which one's the real candy cloud? I guess we'll find out. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And um, and there we go. Okay, so first of all, we have Ikari turn one. First of all, my crack out there tried to discover his camo marker and completely failed. No idea who that is. Then Yojimbo moved up. He spied quite far away a camo marker. It spied him. It was a Metro with a Panzerfaust. It decloaked and fired a missile at Yojimbo. Very rude there. Fortunately, he was able to deploy smoke. Then my Drew's link team moved up. My hacker threw a picture to those crates there, so it was near one of the HVTs, so I could spotlight it and shoot it with missile if need be. They then peeked around, saw the revealed Metro, and managed to kill him in face to face. My hacker then moved up, hacked the console, picked a target, and it was the wrong one. The team then moved across to the second console, hacked that too, and found another fake HVT. Finally, Scarface moved up with Cordelia a little bit. Then my Krakot took a pot shot at his HVT and killed it. So first points to me. Yojimbo moved up and threw a Koala. So it was between both consoles. So no matter what console my opponent went towards, the Koala would trigger first. Finally, the Warcore moved up to try and flash things that went down the middle towards that middle console. Ariadna, turn one. His dynamo moved up and used its mine launcher to lob two mines near one of the consoles on the far right hand side. His Imaginos moved forward, spotted my Warcor who was able to flash pulse him. Second Imaginos moved up and my Krakot was able to kill him. Then his Cosmos Soldat spotted Yujimbo and through sheer skill, or probably luck really from my part, I was able to throw a smoke grenade and avoid it. This was a big problem for me. I threw the smoke grenade far too forward and it covered both my Drews in smoke. As you'll see later on, that's a big deal. Finally, it was time for the Unknown Ranger. He moved up and with his MSV won, even though he was at a penalty to shoot, quite a big penalty to shoot, we couldn't shoot back. And he was able with a Spitfire to kill one of my Drews with the rifle. He then moved up and killed my HVT, who's off, who's off the picture there. He then moved up and shot at my hacker, who dodged. Then a camera marker moved up, being mega sneaky, moved up and round, round further, and revealed to be a Libertos. It revealed itself, triggering the koala, and he was able to and he was able to dodge out the way. Again, the unknown major moved up, was able to kill my hacker, and then hack the console, revealing my HVT, but of course she was the wrong one. Ikari Company turned two. My Wu Ming squad moved up and was able to see his dynamo through the gap down the window and kill him. We then moved up and we were able to take a shot at one of his HVTs I had previously revealed, killing him. My engineer then had the console and revealed his other HVT who is kind of off camera there unfortunately and we were also able to kill her. So at the end of my turn two we have managed to hack the consoles and kill all three HVTs so things are looking pretty good for the Akari company. Spoiler alert, didn't go well. So Ariadna Turner 2. His Mormare moved forward and 
was able to see one of my women who he killed with his APHMG. My women behind them dodged and went prone. His Imantinos moved up and through smoke, blocking off that lane there from any AIs from me. Moved up towards the console. Now this did trigger some dodges from me to get up from being prone. So what happened eventually was he moved up to the console. My engineer was able to kill his Imandinos before he hacked it, unfortunately. Meaning he had to hack it with somebody else. He then brought up Isabel, who moved forward. Again, we played a bit of dodge tennis where she moved forward. We dodged and got up. She tried to hack us to no avail. Eventually she hacked the console and revealed one of my decoy HVTs. His more mare then moved forward. One of my women was standing up at this point because of Isabel and I wanted to shoot her. As such, he was able to fairly easily kill that Wu Ming and then also kill my engineer. Also then, of course, able to kill my HVT decoy as well. Finally, the Unknown Ranger went into suppressive fire. Ikari turned three. At this point, I had lost both the Link teams and I had killed all three HVTs. My main aim then was now to prevent his Unknown Ranger from going near the third console, hacking it and killing my final HVT. So for that purpose, my tag moved up and round and took some shots at the Unknown Ranger. Unfortunately, because of cover and mimetism, they didn't connect. I then tried to bring up Cordelia with some combined actions with the tag. I was happy to have her killed in ARO. My idea was to have a death leap forward and rehack that console which would force him to hack it back to get the points. Unfortunately, I misjudged the range and just too far to get there. Unfortunately, that, that misjudge meant I couldn't... That misjudge meant I didn't have enough orders to put my tag in suppressive fire. And that was my last turn. Ariadna, turn three. His more men moved up and in one flurry of APHMG was able to kill my tag in one burst from full health. Brutal stuff. He then moved forward and also, for good measure, killed my remote and also killed Cordelia as well. The Unknown Ranger moved forward, was able to go towards the console, hack it, and then kill my final HVT. And that meant he was ahead on points. It was Ariadna 7, me 5. A great game. And now I'm going to go through with my opponent some thoughts about our match. Okay, so that's the end of the game. I yeah. was I was I was robbed five seven. <laughs> <laughs> I really went in as, as a thief in the night. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it was going it was going fine, and then my tag got killed in one burst by your your more mare. Admittedly, they are probably oh. the best game best shots in the game, aren't they? With four AP seventeen shots, they are they are yeah. amazing, right? Like, like they're not. The, they uh, like the. If you shoot against the, um, either the unknown ranger or the veteran Cossack, they have the mimetism, so he's he does not have the mimetism. But once he hits, like those damage seventeen AP, that's just that's just rough, especially for a tag. Yeah, I think saving him till like the end of the game was was certainly a good thing because that, yeah, that, that, yeah. that less things to take him out then, right? Um, no, yeah, yeah, you have to you have to win, you have to win the fire, yeah, the firing because uh, in all the other cases, uh, <laughs> the dead. It's funny how smoke uh, helped you out a little bit. Like when a, yeah. when your Jimbo was over here earlier on in the game, I put him back on the back of the board over here, and lob smoke to uh, away to where it kind of is now. And then the uh, no ranger yeah. went, oh, cool, I'm move forward and kind of eventually kill Drews. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> took a while, but maybe all the smoke. To... <laughs> yeah, like there were two Drews who were like, "Fuck you, you Jimbo." <laughs> <laughs> You nasty Why'd you do this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you killed us. Why? <laughs> He's now absolute... Captain America's throwing shields in our faces. <laughs> <laughs> He's an absolute rock star, isn't he? I mean, even even yeah. without being part of a link team, it's just absolutely yeah. stunning. Um, yeah, and without the link team, he's just so fast with the six-two. Like he just he's just running and gunning and uh, can do com close combat if if need be. Yeah. Yeah, it was really, it was really fun list. I was I was kind of scared of um, you having sort of. Um, Deployment zone drops like you know um, Van Zandt and things. So I had a mm -hmm. fresh koala here and a flash pulse there. And even they didn't have them, I still think it's the best thing to do because you never know, do you? Yeah. Against yeah. Um, you have so much AD. Like I can easily do an AD list, so I. Uh, it's not not weird for you to just have that brawler lieutenant be guarded by a crazy koala. Yeah, exactly. You um, never know. I got Van Zandt again. Go, go Mirage Five. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah, and that been pretty nasty. Yeah, thanks again. Like, that, that was good. That was. That was really, really close. Um, yeah, thanks. Yeah, you, you were in, you were ahead like for so long. Like from turn two on, you 
took all the consoles, killed all the all the all the uh, targets, decoys and targets, and then it was like, yeah, I have to like go through you, and I did, and and by the end, yeah, then all the crits came and. Yeah, I think basically my tag was quite a good anchor last turn, but basically yeah. it was caught out, just caught out, 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 out of cover. But I was, I was yeah. targeting on your your um, ranger too much. That basically yeah. once once it's out of cover, he'd never chance. Basically, I, yeah, he, he could. I want to go into better fire with him. But obviously, I thought maybe she could run forward and suicide leap at the button. In which mm-hmm. case, if you haven't hit two buttons at once, might slow you down. Yeah, but she wasn't close enough, and that meant the order I spent on her, I couldn't put him into, into better fire. Yeah. Um, I could have, like but I could have been shot by your ranger, wouldn't I? Because it would risk the um, unopposed role. Yeah, you had, you, you had to kill him because if if you do, did, then I the 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 next specialist were the cosmos soldat and the and the paramedic. So I would have been on a distance to actually maybe have not enough orders to uh, eventually get the middle one. So going with your tag and trying to kill him uh, was probably the best. But yes, shooting on force is not. Not a good perspective. It's not great. <laughs> it's yeah. not great. But I thought, yeah. even if I could stand there and then I'm a, a, a reactive yeah. piece, it's not too big a deal. Yeah. Because it's quite hard to kill normally in one go. Until of course he gets flanked by a, <laughs> a, and gets turned turned into basically a tin can in about one burst. Yeah. Was, yeah. Maybe maybe the better move would have been to like go even farther, just go around. Uh, maybe. Fight. But I- I was so short of orders. I was like, I had yeah, four, were, four orders yeah. down, wasn't I? So, because my length team went, both my length teams did the job. Both of them died in the process. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was that. Thank you for watching. I had a great game with a great opponent. Hopefully, I could play more games with them soon and maybe even win one. So, in the interest of doing some more sort of participation with the audience, we're going to play some games of Paper to Stone. So, you're going to pause it, type a comment as to what you picked. And see whether you win. Okay? When you pause it, no cheating. So, one, two. Did you pause it? I bet you didn't. Right. One, two, three. Scissors. Did you pick that? If you picked paper, you lost. Pick stone, you won. Okay? Hopefully I beat all of you. Other than that, I will um, see you later. Bye.